My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 17. It's truly an honor to be approached by the man many believe will be the next number one hero in Japan. Starting with an Endeavor I flashback. I expected such an offer. Fortune has truly smiled upon us. What, like a marriage offer? An arranged marriage. She was a woman she looks thrilled. Place. On the surface, our union seemed like any arranged marriage. But I had an ulterior motive. R right. Hero breeding. Surely my offspring would grow to surpass All Might. God, it's so... <laughs> it's so dark and cold and calculating. They craved the status associated with the number two hero. And my money. Which is probably why her father quickly agreed to my proposition. She had the option to refuse me. Thank God. There was a strength to her. But still... She seemed like she might melt at the slightest touch. Are you... okay? In what world would I be? That's why I've come here. Not so delicate anymore. You're not the only one who overlooked our child. And taking responsibility, which I know is a controversial discussion in the show. This came up a lot in the early episodes with Todoroki. The, the question of what role she played in the incident that lets him scarred. My take on it then, and still now, was that you can separate, right? Like, it could be a lot of things at once. The relationship was abusive. Her breakdown is understandable. She did throw hot water in Todoroki's face. But anyway, I think the point is not to assign blame, because that doesn't really do anything. I think the question is always, what do you do now? How do you do the best you can with the situation you're currently in? And the point of glimpses into the past like this are not to point fingers, necessarily, or to try to gain some high ground or moral grandstanding about who was more wrong than whom, but just to identify personal blind spots in ways that you can avoid the same pitfalls in the future. I think that's part of what's been so satisfying and what makes his character so great to see Endeavor wrestle with the acknowledgement of all the terrible evils he's committed against his family and vow to change. That's sort of where it's at for me, right? With her now, it seems like this is a major development for her character, kind of taking some agency in her own life, and it feels good to me. It doesn't make Endeavor any less culpable. It's not at all a method of absolving him for his misdeeds. Just isolating, it's satisfying for me to see any character Character, both characters in this case, reflect on what they each can do with the situation they find themselves in now. Just as a general intuitive guide for judging any action, I think there's a spectrum. And the, the closer you get in any given dilemma to maximize the amount of personal agency and responsibility you bear for yourself and your own actions, the more satisfying and probably the more useful and powerful that outlook is to a point, as long as you're not taking responsibility for things that absolutely are out of your control. So for example, she would not take responsibility for Endeavor's mistreatment because those are Endeavor's responsibilities. That's Endeavor's burden to bear. But anything she did, anything she feels she can do that's within her power, not shying away from the individual feelings of desire to help her son, identifying her own wrongs towards any of her sons, that to me feels maximally satisfying. Conversely, it feels unsatisfying to me when there is perhaps something someone could do to rectify something they feel is wrong in their own lives, but rather than do so, they make that decision about some external factor, perhaps one that existed in the past. Knowing how tough my father is, I doubt he'll die from whatever injuries he racked up. Even if he wanted to. That was the plan, right? He wanted to leave him alive. Wanted to see him squirm. Henji. Mom. Fuyumi. Natsuo. Shoto. When you're crying in hell. It's just directed at everyone. Wave. The whole family. Episode 17, The Wrong Way to Put Out a Fire. Scorched Earth, I guess. No one is spared. No one is innocent. In a way, I feel like the biggest threat to Dobby is not Endeavor and his happiness or his success, but the kids' happiness and the kids having a good relationship with their parents. Because in Dobby's eyes, that's a brutal unfairness. And also, it's proof of something that runs counter to his whole hateful narrative, which is that Endeavor and I guess now his mom are actually aware of their mistakes, are not just categorically evil. The end have some redemptive potential and can have good relationships with their kids. That's a very weird thing. It's hard to even address because you, you have sympathy for victims, but there is perhaps a point at which which your hate runs so deep that you don't even want to see anybody be able to make amends. You want to ignore or not believe in other people's powers for good because it's become such a pillar of your identity. Huh? No What's fear. the wrong way to put him out of fire? Today we should be doing quirk trading together. Come on, Dad, you said you would, remember? I've told you already. This time off is for your own good. Mm. His body appears to have taken after his mother. In other words, throw him away. <laughs> I'd hate to see the boy burn himself and end up in the emergency room. Second opinion. How did this happen? We saved 62 municipalities today. 62 municipalities? I know my body better than anyone, and I say I'm totally fine. I agree with that. I don't like it when you come home looking hurt. Really? I mean, on some small level, this is concern. You're the one who lit this fire under me, Dad. No matter what I say to him, he shows up at the house with new injuries every day. The boy is stubborn, just like his father. This is the only way to make him give up. He has 
to know. He can't beat All Might. You know, I didn't expect this at all. I didn't expect to see this kind of concern from Endeavor. I almost feel like we don't need it. Or I think it would have been more interesting. I don't know. Something compelling. If no, Endeavor had just pushed him all the way to the brink. Because the power of Endeavor's character is watching someone who's just really awful struggle to not be so awful and even be great. There's a really powerful theme in there about chance, you know, and redemption, righting the wrongs of the past. So I kind of don't need it to have been Dobby pushing for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine being angry about watching someone save little children. The priorities all wrong. <laughs> oh god, it's so perverse. I've been practicing this entire time. I know I can do it. I'll surpass all my wait and see. Just keep your eyes on me, okay? Oh, he will eventually. Make friends at school and do stuff with them. There are plenty of things to do with your life besides being a hero! Leave this unattainable goal behind you! Yeah, this is surprisingly sympathetic from Endeavor, but maybe there's another way to channel it, as opposed to just giving up. You showed me being the best is what matters! Toya, no, Yikes. you Yikes! me to want this, Dad! You'll see. Oh, he'll see, alright. Look at me! Endeavor! He's not attacking Todoroki, is he? What the hell is he doing? So that's it. You're running away. The wrong way to put out a fire. What was the kid's sin? I mean, I get why he would hate Todoroki. We're failures to him, so he pretends we don't even exist. You've already told me this like a million times. Ugh, why don't you go bother Fuyumi instead? No, hold on, are you ignoring me too, Natsu? Please don't do that, I'm telling you this stuff because you have to understand. You agree, right? Besides, the women in our family are all useless! Yikes. It looks like you're suffering simply because you want to please your father. Mm, yeah. Son, yeah. there are many different paths in life. You have countless opportunities. She was trying. She saw it. Shut up, Mom! You don't know anything! Oh. This from one of your self-help books or something? Oh, no. I know Grandma and Grandpa were poor. That's why they sold you, right? Oh, 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 cutting to the bone. Going for Mom. Mom's jugular. When I hit puberty, things changed. Then my flame suddenly transformed from red to blue. Puberty, am I right? Damn it. No crying. Why do I always tear up when things go my way? You know, a weird comparison came to mind, and a lot of people won't get this because they're not watching it, but Kyoko from March Comes Into a Lion <laughs> comes to mind, in a nutshell, just permanently derailed by never moving on past an evaluation of self-worth that is attributed to daddy's love. People handle that in different ways. You know, some people date men that are 40 years older than them, and some of them seek to crush their entire families with fire. Many roads, one path. It's unfortunate for him that he got this far this young, because while I, I actually don't think it's realistic, at least, or especially at a young age, to just totally be your own source of self-value, I think to some extent you you do need approval of someone, you know, or something. You need some kind of group or family member or whatever to have a kind of base. I do think there are other outlets for this. It's just that they're not available to him right now. I attribute a large part of my development to finding a really, really good group of people as friends in my teens that gave me a different set of values for, to which to aspire to in a way that didn't carry the emotional baggage of my youth with my family. There's something extremely isolated about the, the Todorokis. Dad, your next day off gotta come to Sokoto Peak. And that's probably when it happened. Then you'd have to accept that I'm not actually a failure like you thought. After all these years, you'll be happy to have me as your son. He's not gonna get what he expects from this. I asked you to do one thing. Just oh damn, he took train. it out of the mom. I won't let you beat me to mommy! There it is. There's the despicableness that I've come to expect from Endeavor's past. That's more on brand. Endeavor not wanting to train him is understandable, but it definitely feels like he could have channeled this a little better instead of just complete avoidance. Training maybe should have continued. Shut up, Mom! You don't know anything! My options were limited when I was younger, but I chose to marry you of my own free will. I thought, if I kept a smile on my face, things might work out. It's an interesting perversion of the smile on your face thing. Be of use for once! What do you see when you glare at me like that? He sees himself, he sees his own failures. Please don't look at me. All of this is, it stems from Endeavor's self-loathing. I was afraid if I did, it would feed a fire that was already out of control. Now, the real reason. 
face of this, I had no idea what to say. Interesting time for a name card. The only thing I knew how to focus on was molding Shoto. And whenever I looked at my children, it was your eyes I saw staring back at me. Even though I knew we were falling apart. Wow, this is... Well, they're all taking some responsibility for this. They're rallying around their shared regret. Our responsibility is not yours to bear alone. Damn, Your that's crazy. That's so huge of her. Going to help you put it back together. That's so unbelievably big of her. Shoto must have suffered so much more than we did. But he still started calling me mom again, even though he has every right to hate me. It's a chain reaction. A lot of this stems from Deku as well. Not to take away from, from Shoto at all. I thought you wouldn't be able to fight after how things went down. That I would have to face Dobby myself. That's not the case, though. Damn! So <gasps> <done> crying. <laughs> so it's all. Pardon us. We were kind of listening into your combo. That was and rude. Since we're in the loop, mind if we join your hey, that's family okay. reunion? As long as it's these two. I'm deeply ashamed and apologize for my son's actions. Uh oh. That's definitely not the reason we're here. Seriously, please stop, ma'am. I admit we wanted answers about Dobby, but eavesdropping is sketchy, like black market denim. What does that even mean? <laughs> Don't question it. Just go with it. Everything Best Genius says is woven together with a golden thread. That was a really amazing scene, and one thing I'm hit with is even more tragedy for Dobby, because he's already so far gone. He, he's missing all of this. His whole crusade and self-destruction is him fighting an evil that's gone. It's not there anymore. It's not in this room. Looking at Shoto, it's kind of what I was thinking about earlier. He was stuck in it too, right? He was stuck in it. He didn't self-destruct like Dobby did, but it wasn't until he met Deku and met a higher form of values to aspire to that he was able to push past the system he was kind of stuck in, which is that everything is about dad. And I think a critical thing that happens in that point that is essential is if you can get out of it long enough to look back at it, you realize that it's small. You know, you realize that you were trying to live up to something that was smaller than what you could be. And that has a way of dissipating the fire somewhat, no pun intended. And once you can neutralize that, the emotion connection and see things really clearly that's the space in which things can start to be healed and interestingly a lot of times that comes from the opposite direction than you first were intending it's not you seeking the approval of that figure but that figure seeking your approval which i think is the case here i think in many ways endeavor has been catching up to todoroki and you can feel that in their interactions it's kind of like todoroki's gift to give whether or not he accepts endeavor back whether or not he has anything to do with his father in the first place you can't force anyone to care about you you can't force anyone to be anything that they're not or that they're not willing to be i think the best chance you have is to get out of it completely, to focus on things that are more actionable, more within your own control, finding more healthy measures of value, whatever those may be, and then creating a neutral slate for that person to approach you with any new insight they may have as they hopefully grow up, which may never happen. You know, there's no guarantee. People can be stuck in their ways forever, but while that's not a guarantee, I think that's probably the only way or the best way to have any kind of reconciliation of this nature. Unlike Dabi for Todoroki, there was no demand. You know, there was no ask after a certain point. It was Todoroki forming just a higher ideal outside of his family and something that was within his control, which was becoming an amazing great hero and not forcing his father to feel a certain way whether that be positive feelings or negative feelings he wanted to give him and that's exactly where Dobby is stuck right now I never guessed the tenacity you had in your younger years would make your home so hellish gotta admit it's shocking this didn't come up when you were talking about Toya but are you to blame for the burn on Shoto's face as well so close no that was me wow he's really making them all air out their embarrassments again I never got to confront my parents instead I abandoned them but you stood your ground. Shoto, you're a heck of a kid. No doubt. But there's a commonality there. He's not as different from Shoto as he's saying. He did the best he could as a kid separating himself. At this point, we have no leads. No idea where they're hiding. We're super lucky for this downtime. Currently, the government is requesting aid in the form of rescue teams and heroes from other countries. Well, that opens some interesting doors. I want to see the number one American hero. Of course, we've got your back. Responsibility for this can't be put on your shoulders alone. <laughs> this is an episode about taking responsibility. No surprise from My Hero Academia. It's sort of the core thing here. We propose a little team up between the top three heroes. I've already bet my life on Hawks once. <laughs> Literally. It's a power team right there. Don't we make the burden feel a little lighter? Isn't it time to move forward? This is why the heroes will win. Right. Endeavor, again, being so vulnerable in front of them. What do you know about One For All? Oh yeah, a reporter mentioned that too. While he was fighting Shigaraki, Endeavor mentioned something called One For All. It's closer than you think, right under your nose, noses. It's highly possible that I'm the one Shigaraki's after. Endeavor, yeah, he knows. Deku. Did he just tell him? Deku, you bastard, you're dead! He still hasn't made it to the hospital room like three episodes later. Takes the whole team. What is wrong with that boy? 
You'll get used to it. You'll learn to love it. <laughs> they said his body's fine. But I'm still worried. Hey, yo. Great explosion murder god dynamite. Are you Oh, he uses his name. What's look like? <gasps> oh, that's such an honor. Acknowledgement from Best Genius. What in the world is one for all? Yeah, maybe this is going to come to light. Might all come to light soon. A vestige of me that lives within one for all. Inside you. Right now, you must be talking with the previous wielders. Maybe he'll emerge with some new powers. It's been a long time without Deku. That was a really amazing episode of keeping up with the Todorokis. I guess it was necessary, right? Like, we went all the way down. We hit bottom. All characters explored the depths of their guilt and their responsibility. And they came away with it with something very trademark My Hero Academia, which is the quest to, to their abilities, to the best of their abilities, in their own power, putting their desires on their own shoulders, while also working together. You know, the, them having a cumulative effect at righting the wrongs that they see, without shying away from it, which I think is, speaking about it in real terms, very impressive. I think it's a lot harder to do than it it seems. Especially given Endeavor's crimes. I mean, he has every incentive not to want to face that, right? He was already on that path, right? But now there's absolutely no ignoring it whatsoever because it's responsible or it's connected to a threat that's facing the entire world. Props to the mom also. I mean, she dug herself out of a really dark place and it seems like she did that not alone, but from her own resilience, from her own strength. She could have easily just been out, right? She could have just been out and lived as a mental patient her entire life, seething about Endeavor in her past, but that's not the end of her story. I can't remember all the details, but it does seem to me like there is a little bit of a trickle-down effect from Todoroki himself. Todoroki seems to have led the charge in a big way, which again doesn't take away from any of their individual contributions, any of their individual soul-searching, because that's their strength. That was on them to do, and they did it. But I think the sort of the catalyst or breaking point was Todoroki battling with his demons in counterpoint to Toya to get out of it, to reach above it, attain something higher. Deku was a big contributor in that, and at least in just showing him the path, you know, showing him that there's something Something else. It's your quirk, not his, etc. And I think that when all is said and done, that will be the story of My Hero Academia. It will be all of the heroes or anybody who makes a meaningful contribution having done that battle individually and then that compounding collectively because they're they're even more powerful as a group. They're greater than the sum of their parts and they all are there to fill in some of those gaps or help mend the voids of individual characters when they can. There are a lot of things that could happen, but it seems like a big part of this will not only be Deku's fight against Shigaraki, but Endeavor and Shoto's journey. I don't even want to say to fight Dabi. It's bigger than that. It's not about a battle. To follow their destiny with their family member. I'm very excited to see that and also to see this dream team of Endeavor, Hawks, and Best Genist.